tip my hat for the kids. <laughs> so, again, thank you um, for everybody that's. Oh man, my dad's here. All right. Oh, nice, nice oh my dad's here. And it's funny, those that know me know I always bitch and moan about my family never coming out the door. <laughs> So to see my dad here, my brothers here, I see um, just so many people. Um, Mojito Jones is in the house. Like, the only person not here is Joaquin, but Mojito Jones is here. And I want to thank you guys. And, and just so you know, a little background on things. Mojito Jones is a collective of um, DJs. And several years ago, um, we used to hang out at my apartment just playing music. And my ex at the time, she said, you know, you guys should take this on the road. And so we're like, oh, okay, okay. And, and so we called ourselves Mojito Jones because it was a collective of, you know, Latino and black brothers just doing our own thing. And, so, and plus it kind of sounded cool. So um, Mojito Jones just, we, we did our thing, you know, and we're still actually doing, we need to regroup. We need to start getting back together. But, um, one of the things we would do is like play the music, I would do live painting, and my whole vision with esoteric urbanism, at one point it was um, art music propaganda, was bringing the arts, music, DJ culture all together. And my man Justin Imperiali, we go back to, I met you at Scream. There was a clothing store called Scream. And so it was in a freehold mall and it was decorated like a bunch of people on crack, just like hit the walls. And actually, Gabrielle, she, she, we used to work together. Anyway, um, I went on to manage a couple artists and we painted like 14 stores. And right then and there I knew, I, I, I got something, I got something here. And it, it, it's just gonna take time. And so Justin, you know, he went on to start Cabana Recordings, I remember when, just started that label out and it was a struggle for him and now he's being played all over the world and when i say all over the world i mean all over the world you got to check him out cabanarecordings.com and he's doing his thing with the music i'm doing my thing with the art and you're going to hear about us like years from now yeah. they're going to talk about us like how they talk about basquiat and herring you know right. back in the 80s yeah. but you're gonna see a movement. This is a part of a movement. Esoteric urbanism yeah. isn't just gonna be here in Asbury Park. It isn't just in Newark, New Jersey. It isn't just in Jersey City. I, I DJed and did things out in England. I mean, this is gonna be a worldwide thing. And so you're experiencing history right here. And, and everybody that knows me knows I'm very humble and sometimes humble to a fault. But I'm here to let you guys know that you're a witness in history right yes. here. Okay? Thank you.